The news, Kosovo's Prime Minister Ramush Haradinaj, who is also a wartime commander of the Kosovo Liberation Army, has resigned after being called a suspect before a war crime court. European Union Black War Crimes Court had uh, called on the Kosovo PM to show up for questioning in The Hague. The order has called, in fact, caused Ramush to unexpectedly resign. Speaking to reporters about his resignation, Haradinaj said in a quote here, I received a summon from the special court as a suspect and was offered to go as a prime minister or as an ordinary citizen of Kosovo. I chose the latter. His resignation comes amid growing tensions with Serbia as the EU-mediated dialogue between Pristina and Belgrade has been in stalemate for months. This is the second time that Haradinaj has resigned after being summoned by a war crimes court. Remember, he was acquitted in 2008, the same year Kosovo unilaterally declared its independence from Serbia. And again in 2012, when a retrial was ordered owing to allegations of witness intimidation in the first case. Shifting focus, uh, tens of thousands of Algerians returned to the streets in the capital Algiers and other cities to demand political reforms. Algerians demand the departure of the ruling elite. Protesters are now seeking more freedom. They chanted slogans demanding a new democratic republic and a state of law. Protesters held up banners reading in a quote here. They all go. Our demands are legitimate and it's time to listen to the voice of the street. The Algerian army is the main player in the North African nation's politics after the resignation of Bouteflika. Army has been seeking to hold presidential elections. But authorities have postponed a presidential vote planned for 4th of July, citing lack of candidates. Anti-government protests have now, in fact, are seeking the resignation of interim president Abdel Kadir Pensla, former head of the upper house of parliament and prime minister as well. Sri Lanka Navy has rescued at least nine crew members aboard a distressed vessel of Ruma Sala in the southwestern coastal belt. The transporter vessel Sri Lanka Pride had been dragged away from Anchorage into the Ruma Sala Sea area. All aboard the vessel were stranded in the middle of the sea till the Sri Lanka Navy answered a distress call and rescued the crew members, including the captain, who happens to be an Indian national.